who we are and what we become in the world is not simply the product of ourselves or some internal aspect of ourselves, but it is the product of the network of relationships we're embedded in. The book is not about who we are as parents. The book is who do we become in the process of engaging with our children. As we are shaping them, they are shaping us. An important part of relational thinking is attending to the process of relating. What are we creating in the process of engaging with each other? For me to discover that I have some agency in those relationships, in those spaces, that, that there are ways I can operate that help me not fall prey to my own doubts or fears or concerns, all of that stuff is huge. It's a huge deal to me. This book is a reminder of how, in the course of parenting, we are teaching our children how to be in relationships. Challenges are always going to be there in families, in the world. We know this. But if we have more flexibility, if we can look at problems from more angles, if we can hold our fears and our concerns more lightly, if we can be more playful and more collaborative, if we can wait and see what's emerging before we name and define our responses, all of these things are possible. And when we do it, we have a better chance of getting where we want to be. Our culture doesn't train us to think in terms of relationship. It trains us often to think in terms of roles and jobs and tasks and goals that we have to get done by the end of the day. We want to ground our families back in that notion of relating, in the activity of making a family. This book is about that.